At number 5 is the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro. The HyperX Alloy FPS Pro has an ultra-minimalistic compact design built on a solid steel frame. The resulting feel is rigid and dense with plenty of weight at around 2 pounds, which is a fair amount for a keyboard this small. The 87-key keyboard has one color, red LED lighting which can be adjusted for brightness as well as a few extra settings using the FN plus arrow keys to change between brightness and six lighting styles. As for game mode functionalities, the keyboards offer 100% anti-ghosting and full N key rollover, so you won't have any difficulty having your key presses noticed, even when you're just pressing on the keys in frustration from a loss. You can also enable game mode to disable the Windows key to avoid unexpected interruptions during gaming. In terms of performance, the FPS Pro comes with Cherry MX Red Switches. Cherry MX favorite amongst gamers for their responsiveness, feel, and durability. Red Switches are still somewhat clicky but are much quieter than the standard Cherry Blue Switches. The Reds give a low actuation force, meaning they're easy and quick to press, which provide excellent response for both gaming and typing. The keycaps are full-sized and shaped well, with a soft scalloped curve on top and a sleek finish. Additionally, its supreme portability with detachable USB cable reduces store damage and offers easy portability for tournament play. In conclusion, for the price, you're getting an incredibly solid keyboard with quality Cherry MX Red switches and a compact tenless key form factor. If you want a smaller keyboard, then this is definitely a reliable option for your gaming setup. At number 4 is the Logitech G Pro Keyboard. The Logitech G Pro is another tenless keyboard, so excludes the numpad. This is ergonomics keeping your hands close together when gaming, or if you have a small desk or wish to play using a low DPI on your mouse and need the extra space. The overall build quality of the keyboard is solid. In terms of design, the top black plate features a matte finish, which matches the keycaps. The sides have a shiny finish and rounded edges and the bottom plate consists of a flat finish with a pattern of glossy slanted lines carved into the surface, which I really like. I couldn't fudge and the keyboard didn't creak when twisted. The G Pro has adjustable feet that give you three set angles at 0, 4, and 8 degrees. I'd recommend you try using the keyboard flat to start with for maximum comfort. In terms of switches, the Romer G Switch is designed purely for gaming, and for that reason, it does its job great. This switch is fast and light with a shorter actuation point at 1.5 mm, with bottom out force at 45 grams and total at 3.2 mm. The keycaps are a shine through type, made out of the basic ABS plastic. The keycaps are relatively smooth to the touch and are a regular thickness. The keyboard comes packed with onboard storage to house your user settings, and this is where the free Logitech software comes in for conjuring up profiles for particular games. It's compact, lightweight, and has a detachable USB, which is ideal for LAN events and keeps it portable. With a Logitech RGB color lighting and lighting patterns, game mode button to disable Windows key, plus macros to execute complex commands in a single keystroke, the G Pro packs lots of cool features. To conclude, the Logitech G Pro keyboard is an excellent choice for the avid gamer. The on-screen response to keystrokes feels quick and sensitive which is ideal for the aspiring professional eSports PC gamer. At number 3 is the Steel Sim 750 TKL keyboard. The Apex M750 is a compact 10 keyless gaming keyboard engineered without compromise, with QX2 mechanical switches and real-time Discord and in-game notifications. Design-wise, it has a lovely weight to it without being too bulky and feels sturdy and nice as well as the fact it looks relatively slick and clean with its black aluminum finish. On each side of the keyboard, it has a triangle shape which slims in towards the front of the keyboard. Inside each edge is a black aluminum plate with silver bevel edges. Design is important for a cool-looking setup, and this keyboard doesn't disappoint. The bottom of the keyboard is pretty standard, although instead of feed tabs which pull out, the Apex M750 TKL features a pair of removable rubber feet at the back. The installed feet offer a lower profile, while the extra set that is included raises the back of the keyboard up more for a so you can find what works best for you. The M750 TKL mechanical keyboard is super simple to set up, 
being as simple as plugging it into any USB port on your computer. You can control the key lights and backlight without any special software required, which is nice if you're a no-fuss type of person. Onto the switches on this keyboard, the M750 uses custom Steel Series QX2 linear switches, which deliver a smooth linear keystroke with gaming experience. I also like the UV-coated keycaps because they offer better strength than the ABS keycaps and are not likely to fade or lose their texture. And as a result, the keys are definitely nice and clicky and have a quick reaction time. Whether typing or in-game, keys are quick to register, and there was no noticeable lag between key press and action, even when using macro-assigned keys. When it comes down to customization, the SteelSeries engine software has features, which enables you to configure tasks such as polling rate, and key rollover toggle, and key repeat should you wish to use them. Our final thoughts on this Apex M750 TKL. It is an excellent gaming keyboard for those who are looking for a keyboard with the sturdy build quality and sleek design. Overall, I would highly recommend this keyboard to any serious gamer. At number 2 is the Razer Black Widow Lite. The Razer is probably Razer's best known gaming keyboard, and now it's getting a more professional focused version with the Black Widow Lite. The Black Widow Lite is a small tenless keyboard weighing just 1.45 pounds and designed for office-based workers who spend most of their working hours typing on a keyboard. It blends the fast responsiveness of gaming with toned-down features that make the Black Widow Lite more suitable for an office environment. Like most keyboards, the Black Widow Lite has two retrace to prop the keyboard at a slanted angle for a better typing experience. The Razer Lite uses Razer's proprietary orange switches which are tactile and reasonably quiet, much like Cherry MX Browns. After a brief redesign, they're a little less stiff and more responsive than before. Also, they're more comfortable, robust switches, which are miles ahead of mere membrane models. The switches also have an expected lifespan of 80 million key presses, which is pretty You probably will change a few jobs within the lifespan of this keyboard. And while the main focus of the Black Widow Lite is on work, it'll do just fine when gaming which is why it made the cut in this list. The keys are fully programmable with macros, and there's a built-in gaming mode that disables the Windows key and Alt plus Tab keyboard combination, so you don't unwittingly switch out of your game at a vital moment. It has a 10-key rollover with anti-ghosting technology, so all your keys are registered, even when you press all the keys at the same time, ideal for frantic games like Fortnite that requires lots of complex key presses. You can also rebind the keys, assign macros, and set up shortcuts using the Razer Synapse 3.0 software. The Razer Black Widow Lite offers a great typing experience with a conservative design aesthetic, but its greatest strength is really its portability. If you need a mechanical keyboard that you can throw into your bag and carry with you, you won't be disappointed. At number 1 is the Red Dragon K552 keyboard. The Red Dragon K552 is not a name synonymous with gaming glory and may raise a few eyebrows. Red Dragon is a relatively new player in the market, but they offer a range of reliable models that are sure to attract even the most faithful of brand conscious gamers. Design wise, the Red Dragon isn't your average gaming keyboard. Not only is it extremely over engineered and creative, but it also boasts great ergonomics and a space saving design that delivers a true flowing gaming experience. No matter how long you type or how intense your gaming requirements are, you are always comfortable. The keyboard utilizes heavy-duty metal made of aircraft-grade aluminum with an ABS construction, and the keycaps are double-injection molded. And let's not forget to mention that the whole keyboard is splash-resistant and that it uses gold-plated USB connectors. The whole keyboard is practically built to near-military requirements, which is pretty impressive. Moving on, this K552 keyboard offers conflict-free keys with 100% anti-ghosting and a high polling rate. This coupled with the use of custom mechanical keys gives it excellent responsiveness and gaming abilities. Let's now focus on the mechanical switches since that's the main thing that sets the Red Dragon K552 apart from other budget keyboards. The switches are almost identical to those sported by the EagleTech KG010. These are custom switches designed by Red Dragon themselves and are supposed to be similar to Cherry Blue. And for what it's worth, I'd agree and say that's about right. 
There are perhaps subtle differences between the two, but both have the distinct audible click and the slight tactile feedback that accompanies it. Moreover, you get a total of 12 multimedia controls that are set across the 12 function key, faded by hitting the function or FN key down. To conclude, cheap and reliable aren't always used in the same sentence. However, the Red Dragon K552 is just that. It's affordable, built like a tank, and designed entirely for gamers. This is one gaming keyboard we would suggest to ditch brand loyalty for and take a closer look at.